everyone, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, my name is Ange, we've got a warm up for today. Um, all you're gonna need is a yoga mat. If you don't have one, that should be fine. You could just be on the floor. Um, if you have a blanket or a pillow or a jumper, or just something that you can put under your knees for protection, that'd be great. That's all you're gonna need, really. Um, so whenever you're ready, I'm gonna find you on your mats. Um, for today, we are going to sit down on our heels, so put your hips under uh, over your heels. Straight back, keep your core engaged, and just relax here for a second. Put your hands on your knees, close your eyes, get comfortable with the position. If you have any issues with your knees, you could just be sat cross-legged, just normal stance. But if your knees are okay, I advise you to just sit like this for today. Just take a moment, pay attention to your breath, get used to the position. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Make sure your shoulders are back and down, your chest is up and forward. And when you're ready, open your eyes, and start doing little circles with our shoulders, lift your shoulders up and forward, back and down, and get up and forward, back and down, just little circles, just a warm up. You remember to reverse your cycle as well. so you can see what I'm doing. Beautiful. Bring your elbows in front of you, hands at 90 degrees. We're gonna cross our hands, we're gonna bring our left elbow on the inside of our right elbow, and we're gonna try and grab our left thumb. If you can't grab your thumb, maybe your wrist. See what works for you. Beautiful, and when you've crossed your arms properly, you're gonna start lifting them up until they're at shoulder height. You should feel that stretch in your traps, in your shoulder blades. It's a great stretch for when you're sat on your laptop all day. Beautiful. Just keep straight, make sure your back is straight as well. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Two more breaths. shoulder height. If not, lift your head, your hand up. Remember to breathe. Close your eyes. We've got three breaths here. to the side so you can see what my spine is doing. Again, make sure your knees together, you sat on your heels, straight back, keep your core engaged. We're going to open our arms to the side, keep your elbows at 90 degrees. Take a deep breath in and arch the back. Make sure you arch the middle and upper back. 
look up towards the ceiling and as you exhale we're going to do our cat curve the upper back and hug yourself scoop yourself a little harder and again as you inhale open your arms open the chest arch the back look up towards the sky then as you exhale arms across you give yourself a good hug Curve the upper back, squeeze your core. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, cat. Amazing. So as you are, we're just going to get into the child's pose for a minute. Just let go of any tension in the back. We've said this before, this is a resting pose. Whenever you need to take it, just do it. Take a breather and move on with your practice. One more breath here. And as you exhale, come up to the forward. Maybe separate your knees, maybe hip width apart. Bring yourself up. Make sure your, the tops of your feet are resting on the floor properly. Tuck your tailbone under, keep your core engaged. We're gonna do a half camel. So when you're ready, reach back with your left hand and grab your left heel. Now make sure you're not bringing yourself back. Your hips are over your knees at all times. Feel the arch in your back. As you inhale, Extend your right arm over your head and reach back as far as you can go. Amazing. Let's switch sides with your right hand. Reach back for your right heel. Extend your left arm over your head. Look up. Feel that stretch in your hip flexors. Right here. You should feel that in your back. Again, one more time. Remember to keep your tailbone tucked, keep your core engaged, just protect your back. And again, last time, take a breath, and as you exhale, let go of your feet. Beautiful. Heel, hips back towards your heels, child's pose, just release any tension, lower back. A couple of breaths here. Perfect. When you're ready, let come up to all fours. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And when you're ready, keep your hips as is and we're going to start walking your hands forward to puppy pose. Your chest is going to drop towards the floor, rest your forehead on the mat. Feel that in your upper back and your shoulders. It's a great little stretch. Last breath. And if you exhale, start walking your hands back. Amazing. Now make sure that your hands are under your shoulders as well. You can start doing little circles to warm up our wrists for our practice when you're ready. Little circles. You might want to experiment with your hands position and your fingers look to the sides. Maybe you turn them inwards towards your, your knees. Try doing a couple of circles in every direction. Work. 
And when you're happy, just stay in tabletop. You can do a little twist when you're ready. Bring your right hand just under your left. Rest your arm on the floor, your shoulders on the floor, your face is on the floor. You should feel a little twist in your back. If you want to extend your left arm, feel free to do so. It'll add a little stretch on your left shoulder, on the chest. And just relax here. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. One more breath. And you exhale. Come up to all fours. We're going to do the same on the other side. Twists. Twists so you can see me. Now this time, the left hand under your right, rest your arm on the floor, your face on the floor. A little twist should come from your, the middle of your back. You and extend your right arm for an extra shoulder stretch. Amazing, last breath. And you exhale. Come back up. Beautiful. We're just going to cross our legs here. Make sure you properly set on your sit bones. Pull out any flesh if you need to. Get comfy, straight back. Shoulders back and down. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Take a breath. Just let your body get used to a new position. And as you exhale, place your hands in front of you. Make sure your back is straight. We're going to start hinging from the hips. As we walk our hands forward, our body will follow. Go closer to the floor. You should feel that in your left or right glue, depending on which leg you've got on top as you've crossed them. Beautiful. Don't force yourselves down, see how far you can go. Let gravity do its thing, just make sure your back is straight. We don't want to hurt ourselves in any way. the other way around. I had my left on top. Now I have my right, so I should feel that stretch more on the right side. Again, hands in front of you. Make sure your back is straight. Open your chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start walking your hands forward. See how far you can go ahead. From the hips, make sure your glutes are on the floor. They're not lifting. They're coming off the mat. You've gone too far. Maybe reduce the range of movement. Couple more breaths.